Power Simpsons here. All right. <gasps> I honestly feel like I can't come to Munich anymore without getting a coffee from Man vs Machine. They're just too damn good. Hello one and all, welcome to Scene Through Glass. And yes, you find me once again in Munich. I flew here this morning for a very brief interruption to the Drive the World programme. You may have noticed that this year I've sent an unusual amount of time driving and filming BMWs. Well, BMW themselves have also noticed this and quite astonishingly they got in touch and said look we really like the work you're doing and we want to work together around a huge event we're hosting at our BMW World in Munich. So tonight I'm going to be appearing on a BMW panel and then tomorrow I'm going to be creating some content around this next gen event that they are doing. Now I did ask if they could pay me with a brand new 8 series coupe. They said no but they did say they could lend me one to drive around town. I think a lot of you will know or remember that I actually drove the M850i for the very first time in Mallorca a few months ago and I fell in love with it. It very quickly became my favourite current BMW for sale. Uh, so I'm not going to sort of review it, there's not a lot more to tell you apart from this particular car is specced with the quite incredible crystal gear selector. I saw that for the first time in Bulgaria at the M Car Sofia dealership and I was like what is that? I need it in every car I have. So it's quite cool now to be in one with it. It's just yeah, I just, I just like it and I better pay attention to the sat nav because I'm about to get lost in Munich. Uh, the very first stop today is actually the hotel because it's 34 degrees here and as you can see I'm sort of dressed, well, just not appropriately for 34 degrees. I definitely need to get some summer clothes on. So yes, to the hotel. I realise some of you may think I'm wearing a very similar outfit, but this is linen. Linen is what you need when it's hot. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see if I can get this all set up to take me to BMW World. Uh, BMW Welt. I think it's all set up in German, so. Welches dieser Ziele soll ich nehmen? Comes up straight away. Boom. <laughs> I love that! Right, off we go. Very short drive. Go and check out this next gen event. I have to say, I wasn't quite ready for that. Um, so basically what just happened behind me was the presentation of six new BMW models as well as some future concept vehicles. Um, now, you've got to kind of view this as BMW's alternative to the Geneva Motor Show. This is their way of launching new products. And I wish I could have sort of shown you the whole moment just then, but there was a lot of copyright music, which I'm sure I can't include. But it was a, it was a proper vibe, like, the base was coming out, the cars were flying around. It was an exciting moment and world premieres of the new 1 Series, the 3 Series Touring, the M8, the uh, 8 Series Grand Coupe. Uh, so lots to look at. Um, I think throughout the day there's going to be various experiences, uh, maybe even automated driving experiences. Not quite sure exactly what that's going to entail but we're going to find out. So yeah, I'm just going to walk around, see what's going on. I have to go and check out that M8. I need to see more of that. How much I love the 850i, surely the M8 is the car for this guy. We already know Shmi150 is buying one, but he's buying everything, so whatever. Power Simpsons here, filming with Supercar Blondie. Alright. 
So I've come straight over to check out the new BMW M8 because of course, yes, I am obsessed with the 850i, but when I drove it for the first time in Mallorca, I said, I think personally, the M8 was gonna be the car for me because the 850i is brilliant, but it's a little bit soft. I like a little bit of a harder, more crazier car. And that is certainly what the M8, well, claims that it is gonna be. We are looking at over 600 horsepower, but more impressively, I think 750 Newton meters of torque from the 4.4 liter turbo V8. Visually, I don't think it looks that different from the standard 850i, which I quite like because it's a beautiful car. I think if they'd done too much, it may have you know, taken away from the elegant looks of the standard 8, M8, M850i. I can't get my words out. <laughs> but yeah, so let's just point out some of those differences. We've got different uh, front and rear bumpers, a lot of carbon fiber on this particular car, as well as this sort of satin blue paint, new wheels, new wing mirrors. Around the back, we have a carbon fiber fiber diffuser and more importantly a whole new M exhaust because uh, whilst this car has got that hunking great V8 it sounded a bit quiet in 850i spec. I want to have a quick look inside and see what the differences are there. In terms of actual trim we've got this kind of two-tone with the tan um, but it's still a very luxurious nice place to be. Oh, we've got a ton of carbon fiber on the center console um, and then the M buttons up here. It is all going to come down to the actual driving experience which hopefully I will get to experience at some point in the near future. Oh, I've just noticed that as well. A little carbon fibre rear spoiler or lip. Very, very nice. Another car that has been launched here or unveiled here at NextGen is the new One Series and the M135i. Now, this is so much more than a facelift. I really think this car looks completely different to its predecessor. Firstly, we have this massive new grille, which kind of looks a little bit like the X5 or even the X7's grille. I guess a, a sort of design language they're trying to carry across the entire BMW range. But yeah, it just looks like a completely different little beast. Now, one thing to note with the new M135i that we're looking at is it's no longer rear-wheel drive it's now got the X drive four-wheel drive system so quite a little different car not only visually but also to drive I would assume let's take a peek inside at the actual interior oh uh, these seats are nice look at those super sporty sort of Alcantara with this kind of blue stuff so I had to I always have to stroke Alcantara a bit weird of me isn't it apart from that it's quite recognizable as a BMW inside um, but yeah I think this is a really intriguing and interesting proposition for me I would want the kind of black pack the night pack just to uh, darken out all these sort of little bits of grills and wing mirrors and stuff but I think it's a cool cool little car I have to say so big thumbs up for me for the new one series Thank you. Right. <laughs> this is a very, uh, yeah, seat belts. Yeah. yeah. So in this vehicle, we have this tablet. Uh, this is our main input device for this robot taxi where we can then just make a long press and start right to actually start our right. And now we will make ah! a quick road here. <laughs> oh my God, this is mad. So we're driving completely autonomously and now is the question what are we actually going to do yep. with our time we have. Where are we going? <laughs> to the Nürburgring! ring! <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, not sure I'm ready for level four autonomous driving. Obviously this is the next gen event and whilst there are uh, current models being shown or unveiled here, it is also about looking towards the future and we've got the, the electric concepts but also this kind of autonomous driving. Level four in development, that's not coming to cars anytime soon, still being worked on but yeah it's a freaky experience I mean I like the idea of it being used for sort of Ubers and taxis that does make sense to me that getting to and from work and stuff that you're gonna sit in the passenger seat and just get on with life and you don't necessarily need a driver but uh, do you trust the car fully I guess so I guess it can work but uh, yeah I mean oh, <laughs> as, a, as a driver it's very hard to get used to but cool to see in action 
Now, all day I've been walking up past the mini stand and my eyes have been drawn to this. Well, both of these cars, actually, we are looking at the John Cooper Works. This one itself is the Clubman. Now, OK, I will freely admit that not everyone loves a Clubman, but I've always enjoyed it. I think it's just a cool, quirky car. And this new version is an absolute weapon. 0-60 to in under five seconds. 4.9 from an eight-speed automatic box. Four-wheel drive as well. An, an entirely new exhaust exhaust as well, sportier exhaust that's going to sound even louder and anyone that remembers the Hot Hatch tour with uh, Paul Wallace, Supercars London and JWW will know that James bought a John Cooper Works Mini along with him and it always sounded nuts, popping and banging. Front grille as well looks super beefy. I just think it's got a real presence and I'm really intrigued by the idea of getting a Hot Hatch again one day, at least once I'm back sort of you know in London because I just think these are the cars that are most usable in an everyday scenario. So many times I've gotten to epic roads in supercars over the last few years and just been like, it's too much power, it's too fast, and I wish I was in a hot hatch. I miss my bath, basically. And there's something about mini design language and everything they're doing at the moment, which is just ticking my boxes. So, okay, fine, it's uh, tucked away here and not getting a lot of love and attention, but I am really enjoying this. Thoughts, people? Thoughts? It's, is it a clubman for you, or are you more of a, a classic Cooper kind of person? You don't see a lot of cars in that segment. <sighs> Having tires sticking out. Oh, of yeah, no. nice. Okay, yeah, you can't uh, quite see it because you're from. We haven't got the angle there, but you can actually see a bit of that rear tire as you're following the car. That makes it, must give it such presence on the road. And there you go, these are the new rear tail lights with the Union Jack design. Always look a bit like snake eyes to me, I thought, when you're following this car, but wow, super cool. Yeah, it looks great, man. Thank yeah, you very much. Like yeah. Thank you for showing me around. Have you been through multiple cameras on this trip? Or is it no, this is it. It's battered though. You should do, you should do a how how to do a drive the world. Video. How to do a drive Talk the world video. The logistics and the camera gear you've got, everything. Like what's not bad. What's the behind how do I go the scenes? Making yeah. a video. Yeah. Bonjour, mon ami, le Seb de l'année. C'est moi. Bonjour. Et, et, et j'habite dans le Munich pour le BMW. You just said, I live in Munich for BMW. Okay. As a press event, this has been incredible. Totally they different, have right? Made, yeah, mm. so different, but mm. really, really cool. And a bunch of really, really nice cars. I mean, the M8 is, is the one we're all talking about. Well, to, I don't want to be negative, but the one thing I'd say is missing from this event, driving, because that yes. M8, okay, sure, yes. it looks good. I just want to drive it so no, no badly. One's driven it, right? no, 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 no one's driven it, right? No, no one's driven it, no one's, officially. I'm sure Shmi has, has driven it, yeah. under embargo, yeah. and it'll come out in a week, but yeah. uh, <laughs> officially no one's driven it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I'm obsessed with the 8 Series. And We've I'm got it right behind the camera, by yeah, the way. Sorry. If we keep looking yeah. in the distance, it's because the M8's right there. I'm going to overlay some B-roll. So oh, like, I yeah, see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fundamentally, that car's all going to be about how it performs. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. So I'm sitting here going like, great event guys, but give me the key. Good to see you here. Good it's luck like, with yeah, the yeah, really good to see you. Uh, je, Where are you uh, off to next? Uh, no, I'm going back to Os uh, Oslo. Actually, I can't say because I don't know when this video is going out. <laughs> I'm going back to the car and continuing <laughs> I to I am drive going the world. to be with the vehicle. Yeah, back yes. to the trip. Okay, all right, well, good to see you. Well, that pretty much brings an end to the next gen event. It's been a full on day just experiencing everything that BMW are up to at the moment. I have to say that autonomous drive experience is still not quite left my mind. It definitely shook me up, but I'm also in love with the M8 and that Clubman Mini. So it's just got my whole brain whirring and my. Uh, my awakening to BMW that has taken place this year has now been made even worse by working with BMW on an event like this. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video, found it informative and useful. Give it a thumbs up if you have, and make sure to subscribe for plenty more videos to come.